House is pushing for peace with North Korea. A new report reveals the regime may have as many as 20 hidden missile bases within the country. Amber Strong brings us this look at that report and the response from Washington. It's the latest chapter in an ongoing saga between the U.S. and North Korea, with a new report revealing at least 13 hidden missile bases within the country. According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, those hidden bases are capable of launching intercontinental ballistic and short-range missiles. Since their Singapore summit, the president has been optimistic about the progress with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. The sanctions are on. Mm -hmm. The missiles have stopped. The rockets have stopped. The hostages are home. The great heroes have been coming home. That view continued Wednesday when, in a tweet, Mr. Trump called the report of additional bases nothing new. Most foreign policy experts agree this isn't really a surprise. If you go back to January 1st of this year, Kim Jong-un did a, a, a speech with, that he does every year. And basically, he declared that North Korea would mass produce nuclear warheads and missiles. That's what he's doing. So far, the administration isn't budging. President Trump's made his position very clear. No economic relief until we have achieved our ultimate objective. It's a precarious game of tug of war. The North Koreans want all the sanctions lifted, or at least a lot of them, before they start rolling back their nuclear weapons and missile programs. The challenge is the United States wants the exact opposite. The question is, who goes first? It's a question many in the administration may feel they've already answered, with the president making the first move by attending that historic summit. Now many believe it's time for Kim to make the second move. Amber Strong, CBN News in Washington.